One of the most surprising things on my Soul Seeker Kentucky trip was the Isle of Flores, which is an island situated on Lake Pitsanitsa, connected by a small causeway from the main town of Santa Elena, which is where we were staying. This is our view from our accommodation that we were staying at. Pretty stoked on this. And free afternoon. What am I gonna do with all this time? I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. Everywhere we went, we were surrounded by colorful painted buildings and just a really relaxed island vibe. This is such a cute little town, guys. Everything is so colorful. I love it. Love it. And our last stop on tour was an hour plane ride into Guatemala City and then another hour bus to Antigua. All right, guys, so right now we are doing a walking tour of Antigua, Guatemala. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Take a look at, behind me, the buildings, the building, all the buildings. Tucked beneath three volcanoes, Antigua is a beautiful UNESCO World Heritage colonial town in Guatemala. It's full of colorful Spanish Baroque buildings and right smack in the middle of the Backpacker Central America Trail. This is one of the most also attractive buildings of Guatemala because besides all the earthquakes that uh, Guatemala or Antigua has been through, like it's still standing. This is that this architect was really smart because he got to study like the whole geographical area and he realized where like the fields were located at. So he actually used something interesting at this church which it, uh, which it was a uh, tall, thick and really deep founding. So what this basically does is that when there's uh, uh, an earthquake or a tremor, it kind of absorbs the whole seismical wave, right? Which it allows like uh, the building to be more flexible. Uh, so I'm at a chocolate shop, surrounded by chocolate. I'm learning about all the various types of beans, how to make it, probably eat a lot of chocolate. So in the chocolate workshop, we got to make our own chocolate. Now chocolate comes from the cocoa beans, which first need to be roasted. We then peel away the husks to separate them from the nibs. We then take the nibs and grind them down. And we did this in two methods. First by hand, which was <laughs> very, very tough. And the second was by this grinder. It was almost like a meat grinder sort of thing. Much easier. And then finally, we place it into the conch to turn. We're making my dark chocolate, I told you, it's cacao and sugar. Dark chocolate is 70% means 7% cacao and 30 sugar. 88 cacao to sugar, 90, 9 cacao, 1 sugar. So here I'm making my dark chocolate 70%. I put 7 pounds of cacao and 3 pounds of sugar. Has to be spinning for a minimum of 22 hours. What's gonna happen here is that the sugar is gonna dissolve. So at the end you're not gonna feel the chunky little pieces of sugar, okay? And together it's gonna be smooth, thin, creamy after 22 hours. Then it was molding time, where I got to pick a bunch of different ingredients to put in our molds. The chocolates are filled in. I don't think I'm gonna remember what I put where. Give me a surprise, guys. Uh, hopefully I'll remember which ones have the chili in it. From the husks, we also made chocolate tea. And of course, some hot chocolate but of the spicy Mayan variety with cayenne pepper and honey. Hiking. Up this walking now. Okay, let's see if we can do this. This, this was our volcano hike. <laughs> and now it turned to a volcano horse ride. I feel like I made the right choice. Definitely. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're horseback hiking slash horseback riding up to the volcano Pacaya. That's the name of the volcano we're going to. And which last erupted in 2010. It's 2015 now. It's a solid five years since the last eruption. So I think we're good. I think we're good.
the last big uh, eruption here in this volcano was in 2010 so we can see in this direction all the white color was in 2010 and then the, the, the dark color it's in uh, eight months ago and this last uh, eruption come in this direction to other side this one so eight months ago here was just trees and green area and then was disappeared <laughs> Well guys, that was the end of my Kentucky Soul Seeker Latin America trip. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for my next travel video, which is going back to South Africa. So that's gonna be out in a few days, so make sure you're subscribed for that. And if you want to go back and watch the videos from the beginning, click on the Mexico video that's playing currently and you could do that. All right, bye.